All right, so I guarantee everybody's wondering, like, what are you? What did you guys do with your kids? What did you guys do with your garden? What did you guys do with your animals? What, what's going on there? How is that happening while you guys are in Idaho for a week? Well, mother-in-law was watching our kids, and so were the older three kids helping out and everything else, so greatly appreciated of that. They had to water the and feed the animals only once because of our automatic watering and feeding systems for that. Definitely check out um, a link to that and you'll be able to see how we built that. But the garden, I really wanted to set this up and I tried setting up the automatic watering system off of the PVC drip systems that I've seen out there on YouTube. And I tried following how they did it this way, that way, and I was like, okay, this is gonna work, you know, it's gonna be amazing. Go turn it on and it's only going one way and it's not going the other way. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, the, like kept messing with it. I'm like, crap, it's got to be something with the level. And this is all happening in the middle of the dark at night while I'm trying to fix this and get it ready because we're leaving and getting everything else ready two nights or two days, basically. At that night, one more day and I had to work. So I had to come home and get packed, get everything else ready and hope to finish that up and be able to leave. So I'm sitting there scratching my head the whole time at work. I told my wife, you know, like, hey, this is something that we're gonna have to do. She's stressing out about it, I'm stressing out about it. So I didn't really tell her about the leveling thing or this or that, I just sort of said, hey, yeah, there's more stuff to it that we're gonna have to do. So time goes by at work and everything, my wife calls me she said, hey, it's all done. Everything's done. It's finally watering. Everything's going which way, this way and that way, and getting to all the plants. And she had to do the level everything out and get it all squared away so that way everything and all the water can go this way, that way. It took a long time. It took like four hours for her to set that all up. And she had to tape up holes that I drilled and thought that that was going to be all. Oh, it's going to be we're perfect. That water's going to go everywhere. Yeah, it was too many holes. And I actually had to tape up some of my drilled holes. So um, she was able to set that up. We have it on a watering system to where it's watering every 12 hours, so it's twice a day, and it's just constant. We don't have to do anything. And our garden is growing perfectly. For all the rabbits, all the birds, all the critters getting in there and eating up our plants and everything, our cucumbers are at five weeks now, and everything else is at four weeks since that just kept getting eaten and eaten and eaten. It took a week to figure it all out and get it all fixed and done. But garden's growing beautiful. Automatic watering system is working beautiful. Garden's growing amazingly. No critters are getting in. Everything seems to be good. Let's go check it out. Here, we've got the timer. We've got the smaller hose going into the splitter and the piping that I created for the watering system. I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see. So you come it comes in from the hose and I got the T here and it goes down to one ball valve and one set of watering system and it is dripped. There's our lettuce, our lettuce is growing amazingly. Hey, get out. So, everything's dripping perfectly on this set and everything like that. The carrots are growing amazingly, it looks like. <laughs> and then the tea, we've got it going this way. I've got it going down, probably a good foot, maybe 16 inches. And then I actually have a metal pipe on the outer casing of the PVC pipe so it gives it more sturdiness and it doesn't break the piping. And I glued all the pieces before the ball valve and everything so that way all that's glued. Everything else where the drip is, that's not glued. So that way we can mess with it and finagle it this way, that way. If I need to replace this or cut off this and put a cap on it, I can do that. So then it comes over to this other ball valve that comes down to the remaining of the body. That's awesome. Corn's coming, starting to go. I got you pretty thick. Our beans. Our beans are finally growing.
when you're starting that. So this is the eggplant at about, what would we say, three weeks? Four weeks? Four weeks. And then here's our pumpkin at four weeks. And then, bam, cucumber. And then over here in this corner, all of our beans, our green beans. And then over here, we got some peppers that are coming out. <laughs> and our corn is starting to come on up. And then we got some more peppers. I'm kind of surprised that the both pepper areas aren't really doing super well, but it is what it is. We're trying. But everything else, especially in this corner, is just green and lush and beautiful. So I'm hoping that we can get a pretty good pumpkin, cucumber, and green bean harvest. Eggplant too. And corn. We'll see. I'm hoping. Oh yeah. That's our automatic watering system and how our plants have been getting watered for the last week. So, peace of mind, knowing it's done, I don't have to do anything, it automatically does it. Automatic feeders, do it three times, or once every three days roughly. Watering system for them, same thing. Top everything off, make sure everything's top and good every three days. It's a definite good trade for having to do it every single day to, oh, I only have to do it once every three days, you know, it's not that bad. And then this, it's, you don't have to deal with it. You mess with it. Now it's going to be like, oh, we got to go hardest. Okay, that'll be awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. I'm super glad that we uh, decided to do the automatic stuff because it's a lot less stress on my wife. It's a lot less stress on me. It's a lot less stress on everybody that helps or does anything so greatly appreciate for all the help that uh, we did get for that time and everything like that so thank you thank you thank you thank you for our family that helped out um and yeah great i love our watering system thank you <laughs> melanie for figuring it out because it would have been a headache to have to do in the middle of the night to try to level everything out make sure it's this way that way and then trying to see the water flow like this way and that way when it's pink white Thank you, baby. You're welcome. You helped me and uh, really made me happy because I didn't have to feel it. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Not having to deal with that headache. So, thank you for dealing with it. You're welcome, baby. So, if you guys like the video, share it, comment, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, whatever it is, all right? We enjoy uh, having you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the garden update, and we'll see you guys later.